In the book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, specifically verse 3, I think we really catch the heart of this chapter and really kind of the crux of this book. Let me read to you verse 3. Seek the Lord, all who are humble. Follow his commands. Seek to do what is right and to live humbly. Perhaps even yet the Lord will protect you, protect you from his anger on that day of destruction. Now, as you read this chapter today, you'll see that just like in many of the Old Testament prophets, the prophet is warning of this impending, and listen, well-deserved judgment from God. For centuries, they disobeyed God, and eventually consequences are to come. But here you see this call to humility, this call to repentance. It's specifically to the people of Judah, God's people, but as you read the chapter, you'll see that judgment's gonna come on anyone that disobeys God. And so the call is to humility, to repentance. You see, humility is the antidote to what I think many of us often gravitate towards if we're not careful. Prestige, power, position, longing to be seen as somebody. But humility, seeing who we are in light of who God is, I think it's the way we diffuse that temptation of the enemy to live for position, to live for, can I say it this way? Being a celebrity in your own little world, making it all about you. Today, I wanna to encourage you, walk with the Lord, see things accurately. That's truly the etymology of the word humility. See that God's created you, he's loved you, he's died for you, and, and he's the creator, we're the created. And the best place for the created to be is in step with their creator, in relationship. So today, enjoy your walk with God. Walk in obedience and walk in humility. <music>